Hi, I'm John Arnold and today I'm going to be showing you FX Photo Studio Pro for the Mac. As you can see on the opening screen here we've got a big drag and drop box where we can drag and drop an image to get started. So let's grab our car image and drop that in there and we can see that that has right away opened our image up and is showing us in this film strip along the bottom here or how that image might look with lots and lots of different effects applied to it and there are loads of effects built into FX Photo Studio as you can see I'm just scrolling through them here there's absolutely loads we've got all sorts of effects including sort of wibbly mirror effects we've got color effects we've got black and white effects there's a grayscale here uh, we've got a grey halftone effect here, makes it look like it's from a magazine. We've got some lovely, lovely uh, um, cross-process styles. There's a sort of a red cross-process style there. Uh, lots of lovely glowing effects and high contrast saturation effects. I love this hippie style here. And those effects that you do particularly love, you can mark as favourites by clicking the little star button at the bottom right of the effect tab. So if I click that star there on hot yellow, then I can mark that as one of my favourites. And the way you get to see your favourites is by going to the Favourites tab just over here. And all the ones that you've marked as favourites are in there. And obviously this is a smaller selection than the great many that, uh, that come with the programme. So if you're looking for an effect, maybe you're looking for creative inspiration and you don't know which way to take an image, there is a randomise button here, which is a great way to sort of kick off ideas. It will take you uh, between just a random choice of the filters that you've got selected. In this case, it's just choosing between my favourites because I'm on the favourites section. And you can see that uh, each of these filters has got its own sliders. So in this case, we've just got the amount slider for the cool blue, and I can change the amount of that. Uh, if I go to vivid uh, Glow Vivid Color, I've got a brightness slider, and I've also got a glow amount slider, so I can put less glow in or more glow in if I want to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to keep the glow nice and high, and I'm going to let the brightness go a little bit brighter than that. Um, and in fact, I think I'm going to work with this particular style, but maybe I just want to see the before and after of this particular effect, so I can use the compare button up here at the top that lets me see the image before the effect and after the effect, and we can see that's making a really big difference to this image. So let's apply that. And what that's going to do is it's going to apply that effect to our image and let us carry on editing. So we can now go and do another effect if we want to. And I think what I'd like to do here is actually do some work on that car because it's, uh, it's blue, but I kind of want it to be red. So let's go to the effects. And uh, this is now back to all of the effects. And we can turn that car red with the alien skin effect. But you can see that's also changing the background and everything else. I just want that red effect to go on the car. And we could do that using the masking feature of FX Photo Studio. So let's click Edit Mask here. And that's going to start the masking studio mode. And the first thing you'll notice is that that alien skin effect no longer seems to be applied. That's because we're now uh, in the masking mode and we haven't painted anything on the mask yet. So let's choose a soft edge brush and I'm just going to start painting in our mask. And you can see that wherever I paint, the effect is being painted in on the image. And in this case, I'm just going to paint on the blue parts of the car because I just want to change the blue to red. I don't want to affect anything else. And I think that's pretty good. So I think we'll stop there. We've got our nice red car. What we've done is we've painted a mask in so that that alien skin effect is only applied in the areas where we've painted our mask. I'm going to click Done to say I'm happy with that mask. And we can see now our final version here with our alien skin affecting only that part of the image we've masked in. So let's apply that. And we're all done. We've got our finished image. We can go ahead and save that or share that with our friends. So I'm going to stop there, but I've got loads more interesting tutorials coming up where I'm going to show you just some of the creative possibilities available through FX Photo Studio. Remember, FX Photo Studio is available for the Mac, and it's also available for the iPad and for the iPhone. They are all incredibly easy to use. They give wonderful results, and they're loads and loads of fun exploring all the possibilities. You're going to love it. Check it out, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.